Harley Davidson, United We Ride. It's not even their slogan. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you're well. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell for future videos. So I've been doing a bit of research uh, online and I've been looking at Harley Davidson and digging into some of the things that they've been up to uh, recently. Now, I'm still hopeful that Harley Davidson will be able to show us some new bikes for 2025. Give us some teasers, give us some inkling as what is going to come or what their next step is. Not necessarily hey, you know, we're going to bring you this motorcycle, but just just come out with a bit more information because obviously the recent controversies, they've been really tight-lipped. And whilst they came out with that statement uh, to say that they're dismissing uh, the DEI stuff, there hasn't really been anything from them as a motor company to say, look, we're, we're doing this. We're, we're going to be bringing out new bikes. And this is what I would have liked to see them do. I would have liked to see them come out and say, look, yeah, we appreciate that. But look, we are a motorcycle company and we are bringing new bikes out. You know, distract us a little bit. Just, you know, give us some shock and awe of what's to come. That's what Harley Davidson fans want. That's what we want, right? People look at my videos and say, oh, God, he's complaining again. Oh, he's, he's moaning again. He's being negative. Well, a lot of people fail to realize that I ride a Harley Davidson. And yeah, I just see it like it is. But I still am a fan, not only of Harley Davidson, but of all motorcycle manufacturers. I love motorcycles, whatever they are. But when I start seeing slogans like United We Ride from Harley Davidson, I kind of wonder, well, are we united? Is the motorcycle world, is the motorcycling public, has it ever been united? It kind of has at times, and it kind of hasn't. There's are so many different factions, if you want to use that word. There's so many different tastes. There's so many different things within the motorcycling world or surrounding the motorcycling world. You kind of think, well, it's, it's, it's a collective. It's a community of individuals or smaller groups rather than a united nation as it were and when they're saying well united we ride i kind of thought you know what i've, I've heard that somewhere before i've heard united we ride somewhere before and yes Funny enough, uh, this is an American slogan, and it's a federal interagency initiative, and it's aimed at uh, improving and or developing, I suppose, uh, transit or transport systems for elderly people, uh, you know, people with disabilities, that kind of thing. So when Harley Davidson used that, I, I don't know if they've stolen it from the government, uh, that slogan, but they've certainly uh, grabbed on tight, haven't they? I'm saying this in jest, but the question is, it's... You know, how, how genuine is that slogan for Harley-Davidson now especially, but of the wider motorcycle community? I'm not really sure that there's a, a united front anymore. I, I think there was at one stage. And the motorcycle lobby groups, uh, not only in this country, but around Europe and also in the United States, for example, they've had changing fortunes over, over recent years. And I've talked about this in previous videos, where in years gone by, there seemed to be a greater brotherhood, sisterhood, if you want to use those terms, of motorcycle riders, motorbike riders on the road. We had each other's backs. And yes, we still do have that. But because motorcycles have got a lot more reliable these days, you, you're not stranded on the side of the road. And even if you are stranded on the side of the road, you've got your phone to go and call assistance. So the whole dynamic has changed now of going out on a motorcycle, even by yourself. You're never really alone or you're never really far away from help. So that brotherhood or sisterhood or stopping and helping people, it's it's kind of gone by now. Now, it still does happen, and I still try and stop if people uh, are stranded on the side of the road, but it, it doesn't seem to happen that often. And even if you uh, stop or, or wave to say, hey, are you okay? People go, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. And so you just carry on. So maybe we've lost a little bit of that. We've lost a little bit of that togetherness on the road. But when you go to motorcycle meets, yeah, you can spark up a conversation about anything uh, to anybody because you know that you're both motorcycle riders, right? Regardless of what background they're from or what they ride or who they belong to, usually you can just spark up a conversation just about motorcycling, right? Right? So perhaps this united feeling is it's kind of superficial. It's not deep-rooted anymore. And I kind of feel that Hartley-Davidson have used this slogan, United We Ride, 
perhaps it's for other reasons as well but it's just to bring us back together uh, under the fold of Harley Davidson under the umbrella of Harley Davidson or the appreciation of Harley Davidson's and so if we we are united if we stay together if we ride together then we'd be better riding a Harley Davidson I don't mind that at all in all fairness I think it's it's fine it's great you know you, it's marketing you're going to say whatever you're going to say just to get people enthusiastic about the brand enthusiastic about riding no problem at all and i like the fact that in the wording itself you're trying to unify people and bring people together of whatever persuasion they are whatever background they are whatever nationality whatever language they speak just bring them together and say look we all ride harley davidson's we all ride motorcycles for me first and foremost we all ride harley davidson's hey we should all be united and enjoy it together and be part of one big community but i think it breaks down beneath that superficial layer as in normal motorcycling. I think it's there, but it's not as tight as it used to be. And most of that is down to just the way we ride motorcycles these days and then the journeys that we make, but also the types of motorcycles that we ride and the reliability of those as well. We can complete our journeys on our motorcycles or with, amongst our group of friends or in a club or whatever it is, and you can be cocooned within that group or by yourself, and you never really have to interact with any other motorcyclists anymore. So much so that the motorcycle wave, the helmet nod, uh, whatever it is, it's, it's kind of there. But more often than not these days, people aren't waving. People aren't, aren't nodding anymore. Now, that's what, what I've noticed. A lot of people still do, and I always uh, try to. But I do notice that many people just don't do it anymore. So this is where it started to break down. I do wonder the likes of Harley Davidson, how united they feel their motorcycle uh, community is, let's say, or the people who ride Harley Davidson's, how united they are. I get the impression from Harley Davidson riders now, and I am one of them, of course, that we may be united together as a group of riders who now coincidentally ride Harley Davidson's rather than we are united beneath the brand as it were i don't mind harley davidson using these marketing slogans i think they should be using these marketing slogans but i'm just wondering with all the recent issues that they've had and the lack of information or the lack of discussion from them on what's coming next it's kind of left a bit of a, a hole there and this trying to bring us together even in their statement when they were saying they they dropped dei and they're saying united we stand and say well how united are we how united do you think people are that most cyclists are beneath your brand anymore you can't just release a statement and be sitting all on high and just say no get, come on now gather together we're all united it doesn't quite work like that let us know your thoughts in the comments below if you like what i do here don't forget to like and share the video subscribe to the channel hit the notifications bell for future videos and i will catch you again on another video coming very soon united we ride or united we stand catch you again bye now